honey. Martha? I think you should have a seat. Okay. Is this about the pilot? The show didn't get picked up. Oh. Okay. Did they say why? No, just that it didn't get the views that they had hoped. Well, that's fine. I thought it was a dumb premise anyway. So, Annie, your mom and I have something we want to ask you. Sure. If it's about being emancipated, just hand me the pen. Annie, you remember Aunt Marie from Chicago, right? Yeah. Wait, did she die? No, no. Well, if she did, I wouldn't know about it. We think that it would be a good idea if you went and lived with her for a little while. What? It'll only be till the summer. You could go up there, go to school, and have a normal senior year. I don't understand. I've never gone to real school before, and that's never been a problem. Hey, well, listen. The offers aren't coming in like we had hoped. You know, the, the pilot was so good, and then... It's my responsibility, as your agent, to do what's in your best interest. We just think that since work is slow right now, it would be a good time for you to go and have a life you've never had. You know, like go to school dances. Maybe make some friends with some kids on a sports team. Even eat in the cafeteria. Do you have any idea what will happen to me at public school? Kids will cut off my hair and sell it on eBay, that's what. And that's why we're gonna send you to Chicago. The suburbs are Chicago. I am perfectly content with my red carpets and school on set. That is my normal. Honey, when was your last red carpet? Submit to the Ultimate Film Festival. It will change your life. May not actually change your life. Cash prize, $2,000. Submissions open April 25th. All right. I want you guys to make a film for the Ultimate Film Festival. All right? So if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited. Before you ask, no nudity, no drugs, no alcohol. Let's keep it clean, okay? This is the only assignment you're gonna have for me until April 25th, all right? To make your ultimate film. Here's the flyer for some motivation. Dude, $2,000 for first place. I know. All right, so we can go over the details more next week, but in the meantime, start to brainstorm. I just wanted to say the whole school is thrilled to have you here, a real-life Hollywood actress. Oh, thank you. I was wondering if you would like to try out for the school play. Auditions start next week. Oh, thank you, but I don't audition. Hey, Annie, Annie, wait. I, I really hope you would reconsider. You are so talented. You're such a talented actress. And I think all the other students have so much to learn from you. Thank you. Um, it was nice meeting you.
you scared of something? Mm -hmm. Scared? No. No, I'm just, um, I don't want to draw a crowd. I don't think you need to worry about that. You can't wear sunglasses. Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm not like the rest. Right. Okay. I'll tell on you. Oh, no, that's okay. I have, I have permission. Miss Smith? No, no. That's okay. I'm taking off the sunglasses. <laughs> it may work for Clark Kent, but not you. Excuse me? The sunglasses. What about the glasses? Never mind. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm Annie Jones. I know. You do? Yep. I saw you moving the other day. I live across the street from you. Mm, so not creepy. I don't live there anyway. It's just my aunt's house, and I'm staying there for a little bit. Some might call it a vacation. Hmm. Usually on vacation, you don't enroll in school. Yeah, well, um, I'm prepping for a role, so... All this way from L.A.? Mm -hmm. The producers thought it'd be a good idea for me to experience real life, so they sent me here, and I'm learning for a couple of weeks. What's the movie about? I can't say. Mm-hmm. Well, if you must know, it's about average life, you know, everyday things, school stuff. Sounds thrilling. Yeah, it will be, especially with the big stars around me. And who would that be? Well, not to name drop, but um, Emma Stone, Bradley Cooper, it's just to name a few. Sure. Well, there's no need to be jealous here. Jealous? Mm hmm Why on earth would I be jealous of you? Who wouldn't be? <sighs> Annie, I don't know how much pull you had out in L.A., but I can't imagine it being a lot. So here. You're just like the rest of us. I suggest you open that book, read through what we've already done, and start calculating the velocity of this ball. three is? Um, oh. Do you not speak? Oh. <clears throat> Can you tell me where room 243 is? Okay, that way. Okay, down the hall. To the left? To the right. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, goodbye. guys know Adolf Hitler's initials are ah. In Germany, they call it Deutschland, because that's how you say Germany. Graham, you need to come with me. Excuse me, what are you doing in my class? His grandma died. It doesn't matter. You know that actress? Gee, let me think. She was a big child actress. I had her poster on my wall when I was 10. She was in that one movie, A Danger. Danger in Orange County. Exactly. And I met her in the hall this morning, and I gave her directions. I made a fool of myself. I know. Wait, you did? How did you know I embarrassed myself by giving her directions on the hall? I didn't. I just know she's here. We're lab partners in physics. And you didn't think to tell me that? I was going to, but I, a civil person, was waiting until lunch. Well, that doesn't matter. You know what this means? What? She could be in our movie! Uh-uh. But why? She can't act, Elijah. She's just a child actress that could cry on cue. That's it. But she's famous! So? That doesn't mean she can act. Look, Bram, don't let your ego ruin this for us. Fine. We'll talk during lunch. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go make a tear drop down my eye because Grandma just died. Wait, wait, you did what? Oh, let us lie, Bram. I didn't expect to meet Annie Jones in the hallway. She's a famous person for crying out loud. I didn't expect to see her. That was our chance. Chance for what? Bram's gonna be in our movie. Elijah, I don't think it'd be a good idea. Oh, come on, Bram. This is gonna be our golden ticket. Think about this realistically. 
She's a full of herself actress who's a pain to work with. She has no talent and hasn't been in a movie since she was 12. Lie, she's actually been in a movie last year. Yeah, what role? An extra. See, how did you know that? I've done some research in my last class. Elijah, I just don't think it'd be a good idea. Can I help you? Hi, this is Elijah. I'm Bram, in case you forgot. Yeah, I remember. Look, if you want a picture, just ask, because I don't really feel like drawing a crowd right now. Yeah, right, after we roll the red carpet anyways. Will you be in our movie? No. Excuse my friend, he's never met a movie star before. We're not. Um, yeah, actually, I don't deal with casting. That goes through my agent. I'll give you my agent's email. This way you can email her the pitch, she can give it to me, and if time allows, which it won't because I'm prepping for a role as you know. Yeah, so it was really nice meeting you guys. Uh, good to see you again, Bram. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Yo, are we gonna have a celebrity in our movie? I'm pretty sure she just turned us down before we can offer the role. I think she likes me. My client is a fine young woman and deserves to have her voice heard. This is a court of law. This is a court of law and I demand justice. Object? Yes. The last I checked, Mr. Sanders, the law is not optional. to see how your week went. We haven't really spoken since you got here, and I just kind of wanted to check up. I'm good. Great. So, have you made any friends? Not really. Well, I'm sure there's lots of nice kids. You just have to be open. Right. So I hear Landon got that role. Oh, I saw it on Instagram. He's gonna be a superhero. Didn't he tell you? No, no, yeah, yeah, he did. I, I just, I forgot, you know, a lot of stuff going on. Oh, how do you like your room? Fine, fine. Anything else? No, I just wanted to say goodnight. Good night, then. He's been growing and growing, but this is going to put him on the track to stardom. A household name. Can you imagine your boyfriend? Hollywood heartthrob. That sounds great. Yeah, well, I didn't come all of this way to talk about Landon. How are you? I'm good. Good? Anyone try to cut off your hair and sell it yet? No, but it's getting close. Oh, geez, it could be worse. Could it? I have something I need to tell you and I think it's best just to rip it off like a Band-Aid. Okay. So I, um, I can't represent you anymore. Wait, does my mom know about this? She does. We've talked about it a lot. They were actually the ones that encouraged this decision. So she does know. It's for the best, Annie. So you're dropping me because I can't get casted? But how can I get casted when I'm not in L.A.? You were in L.A. and even then you couldn't get casted. I got the pilot. But not the show. 
You said it was canceled. Not entirely. The show did well, but they wanted to go into a different direction. So you're saying I'm not good enough to be an actress? Sometimes life leads us down a different path. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, I got an email from some kid. He wants you to be in a short film. Oh. Hey, Jamie. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got time. We think that it would be a good idea if you went and lived with so her for a So you're saying I'm not good enough to be an actress? Sometimes life leads us down to the path. Having your real life Hollywood actress. You're just like the rest of us. I suggest you open that book, read through what we've already done, and start calculating the last year for this. If it makes you feel any better, I got an email from some kid that wants you to be in a short film. What? I knew it! One condition. I direct, I write, and I star. Direct my ass? Fine. Co-direct, co-write, and star. No way. Last I checked, this isn't the Bram show. It's the Annie, Bram, and Elijah show. Why's my name last? I direct, me and Elijah write, you can star. Co-direct, star, and story by. We already have the story figured out. Not a good one. <laughs> You're right, it's trash. Fine. Story by, and star. And co-direct. I'm the director. You act. Stick to me on camera, Hollywood. Look, this industry is all about connections. I have them. You don't. I can get your name out there. And what about my name? All of our names on the tongues of Hollywood's finest critics. What do you say? Deal. I was looking at you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm standing here like awkwardly. Is that good or bad? I hear you still a superhero. All three of our names on Hollywood's finest critics. No. <laughs> 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 the finest.